In the spirit of Idil Kabir celebration, the First Lady of Nigeria, Aisha Muhammad Buhari, has received the wife of the Vice President, Dolapo Shinbajo, the Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Tallinn, as well as the wives of the service chiefs, led by the wife of the Chief of Defense Staff and President of the POWA, Vicky Irabo, and the wife of the DGSS and other Nigerian women to share with her the celebration of Idil Adha. The low-key event provided the opportunity for the wives of the service chiefs to interact with the First Lady of Nigeria on the best way to continue galvanizing support in every way possible towards improving lots of women, youth and children. The First Lady used the occasion to call on Muslim faithful and other Nigerians to be more committed to the task of supporting their family and generally to the task of nation building. Thank you. Almighty Allah for making it possible for us to witness the Idil Kabir celebration, a celebration of um, sacrifice. And um, as usual, we have prayed for families in Nigeria. Let us commit to prayers for peace and unity of our nation. And may the Almighty God touch the hearts of our leaders to be conscious and do the needful. And also we pray to the Almighty Allah to accept our good deeds and fill our hearts with love and peace. I pray that Nigerians will learn to love their country, love one another, serve humanity, and pray for our leaders. Mr. President needs prayers. All those in position of authority needs prayers to be able to lead well and with the fear of God. I wish all Nigerians, especially women and children, happy El Eid El Kabir. Um, we wish her Barka de Sala. We wish Nigerians Barka de Sala. And we continue to pray for the peace and security of Nigeria. The First Lady also called on Nigerians to imbibe the virtues of sacrifice, love, and the fear of God in building a solid foundation towards achieving a more prosperous Nigeria. From the State House, Ali Kabir, NTA News. Muslims in Calabar have joined their counterparts across the globe to celebrate the 2021 Idel Kabir. Maureen Liu Ajom captured faithful observing the free rakat prayers at the Nasarawa Bakoko Central Mosque, Calabar, with the symbolic slaughtering of the ram. <laughs> Idel Adha or Idel Kabir, also referred to as the festival of sacrifice, is celebrated worldwide by Muslims and it is marked with the slaughtering of rams, cows and sheep. 
the festival according to Islamic injunctions is the most important feast because it is an occasion to celebrate the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice his son Ishmael in submission to Allah's command. In commemoration of the intervention, an animal, usually a ram, is sacrificed and divided into three parts. One share is given to the poor and needy, another kept for home, and the third portion given to relatives. For Muslims in Calabar, the reason for the celebration is not different. We should be obedient. We should respect our leaders. We should respect each other. We should be obedient. And we should live in peace with each other. Without peace, there is no progress in the land. We have prayed very well and we are also praying. We have also said that in the next three days we should embark on peaceful prayer so that God should bring peace to us in this country. We want to live in peace and we want encourage everybody to live in peace with one another. Islam, Islam allow anybody that is practicing Islam to, to, to gift a gift as a charity to someone that is that that is within your community regardless of his or her religion although it was observed that the adherence level to covid-19 protocol was low it is hoped that implementing agencies will rise to education to avert the third wave and stop the spread of the new variant of the virus in calabar morin leo ajom nta news the need for all hands to be on deck in continuous prayers for peace and unity of Nigeria, irrespective of tribe, religion, or political affiliation, has been emphasized. Chief Imam of Itam Central Mosque, Kalaji Bello Dahiru, said this during Eid al Kabir prayers in Rio Akwaibu State. Calvin Samuel reports. <laughs> Kabil, an Islamic festival which commemorates the willingness of Abraham to sacrifice his son Ishmael in obedience to God. The celebration, which usually marked the end of the annual Hajj pilgrimage, saw Muslim faithful converged in their numbers to pray for the peace of God upon the nation while appreciating Allah for his benevolence. So people buy ram to kill today, they are no more. So the glory belongs to mighty Allah. I'm happy people of Nigeria, Muslim and Christian, I'm happy. Now God, now mighty Allah make us do that and we thank God. May God give us the blessing for everybody, may bless everybody. The chief imam and the leader of Alsa community in Aquaibum state, while appreciating God for continuous blessings upon the state and the nation at large, charged the people to be their brother's keeper show love to one another and always lend helping hand to the less privileged in the society. We should be very, very prayerful. First and foremost, we must have that uh, declaration in our mind that God is one, the, the entity of Almighty Allah, and we should surrender and obey Him. We obey His commandments so that he will equally have mercy on us. In Akwaibom, we relate with one another, devoid of any form of ethnicity, religious bias, or political affiliation. And our, His Excellency, our governor, who is the father of the state, has demonstrated thus far. Almighty Allah to grant us peace and unity, because without peace and unity, there will be no progress. So we pray Almighty Allah to grant us that very peace and unity so that we can be able to thrive in our businesses. High point of the celebration was the usual slaughtering of rams and the handing over of gifts from the state governor to the Muslim community and the state by the essay on project monitoring. In Uyo, Kevin Samuel, NTA News. Muslims in Portacot joined the global community to mark this year's Idel Kaber the festival of slaughtering of rams in obedience to Allah's command. Kingsley Amajiri, who monitored the prayer, says the central mosque was anchored on faith, obedience to Allah's injunction and its inherent blessings. <laughs> The central eat prayer ground in Portakot Town witnessed the gathering of Muslims 
to perform this religious rite. Key takeaway message from this gathering is encapsulated in the lessons of faith, obedience, and sacrifice in accordance with Allah's injunction. The lessons we teach the people, we tell them to be peace loving ambassadors, to inculcate in their children love of the country. Uh, God sent him a ram, he sacrificed it. That's the, God has tested his faith. And that thing has shown us that the discipline and the composure of a family to raise a family. Because the problems we are having today in this country is that we have lost the family value. For those who may not afford to kill ram, given the rising cost of living, some Muslim leaders have on the essence of sharing with one's neighbor and moderation in lifestyle. It is for Muslims to make do with whatever thing they have. Even if you don't have a chicken to slaughter, but you can afford to buy fish for the family to eat for today, do so. Allah will bless it. it but what Allah will not like is for you to go into debt just to show that uh, I'm a Muslim, I have slaughtered some. The eight prayer ground was also a platform for the Muslim Umar to seek Allah's intervention in the Nigeria's trying period, even as Islamic clerics called for unity peace and love among various religious faith towards national development. In Port Harcourt, Kingsley Amajiri, NTA News. One thing that is peculiar with celebrations in Nigeria is the spirit of sharing and togetherness that exists among the people irrespective of their religious differences. The Salah celebration was not different as the spirit of oneness came to play with other Nigerians celebrating the season with their Muslim friends and associates. Justina Eva reports. Salah is a special Muslim festival characterized with celebrations that attracts sharing of food, drinks, gifts, and more, not only among Muslim faithful, but with the less privileged and friends from other religious backgrounds. In view of this, it is therefore not out of place to have people from other religions share in this gesture. I'm a Christian. I came to visit some of my friends that are, are Muslim, that are Uzzah friends of mine. So I came around to see them. So as you can see, I was sharing uh, jokes and laughter with them. We're exchanging pleasantries because today is their big day and they are celebrating. So I came along to celebrate with them. These are our Muslim uh, brothers and uh, sisters who are celebrating. I think that uh, it calls for uh, more, more emphasis on uh, religious tolerance. We should all celebrate this day. If you are happy, to, if you are alive to see this day, we should all celebrate it with one mind. And we should also invite all our friends, both Christians and Muslims. We are all the same. So we should all invite all our friends for this day. Some Nigerians believe that if the spirit of togetherness is transmitted to daily dealings of all Nigerians, it will bring about the desired peace, foster national unity, and promote peaceful coexistence. Christianity and Islam are sister religion. What you have in the Bible is equally enshrined in the Quran. Let nobody look at these insurgencies as Islam. It's not. Because Islam, in a particular clause of the Quran, says once you deviate from the teaching of Islam, you are no longer a Muslim. So I want the media equally to make fact findings before they project this into the public. Because the public, knowing fully well that they are the ones to feed them on this information, will always believe what the media tells them. Don't love to each other, no matter where, where you come from no matter which religion you are, all we are the same, you understand. As Muslims continue to bask in the euphoria of the season, the message of peace and love has continued to echo from well-meaning Nigerians. In Calabar, Justina Etam, NTA News. You're still watching NTA Calabar News at 7. You can watch this newscast on our YouTube channel at YouTube slash NTA Calabar. The news continues shortly. Stay with us. As news breaks from the north, south, east and west of Nigeria, we bring it to you. News from the length and breadth of Cross River State is sent to you via this channel. With movers and shakers in various spheres of influence talking to us, we cover niche and showcase our experience in broadcasting. Because it's NTA Calabar before others. You can't get this anywhere else. 
It's only here on MTA Calabar News, showing at this time, 3 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and 7 p.m. every day. MTA Calabar News, our experience counts. Welcome back and thanks for being there. And now to the rest of our bulletin. The Nigerian Correctional Service has introduced a new department called the Non-Custodial Faculty to cater for inmates with minor offenses and charges. The Cross River State Controller of the Service, Ben Babi Friedman, disclosed this during a visit to the Nigerian Television Authority, Calabar. Our attendant has details of that report. The Nigerian Correctional Service has been responsible for the custody of inmates serving various terms for either minor or major offenses. To further drive home its mandate, it has a new department known as the Non-Custodial Faculty as prescribed by the law to provide community service, probation and restorative justice measure as ordered by the Court of Competent Jurisdiction. On the behalf of uh, the Controller General of Nigeria Correctional Service, Alaji Haliru Nababa, MNI, to sympathize with NTA Calabar for the, the damages and the losses, the havoc that was wreaked on this station during the NSAS protest. The new service that we have has a new structure, and that's why I thought that it would be wise uh, to come along with the head of that unit. There's a new faculty created in, in our service. It's the non-custodial faculty uh, it gives us opportunity, you know, to handle matters in such a way that uh, not everybody is taken into custody, because it's been the major cause of congestion into our facility. The general manager of the Nigerian Television Authority, Calabar, represented by the chief accountant, Mr. Godwin Jack, thanked the group for the visit and assured the Nigerian Correctional Service of harmonious working relationship for the good of the two bodies and the society. I want to assure you that we will give you a maximum cooperation. We continue to cooperate with you and also publicize the programs and activities of the correctional sector. We call on us at this point in time, NTA is for you and to serve the good of Cross fully, even outside the same, we continue to serve them. The core mandate of the Nigerian Correctional Service is to take inmates into custody while reforming and rehabilitating them for proper reintegration into the society. In Calabar, Arut Ndem, NTA News. The aviation sector is about to receive a boost as the Cross River State Government warms up to commence full operation of the Cali Airline. Commissioner for Aviation, Jeff Otwenia, who said this while briefing newsmen in Calabar, disclosed that the state has commenced operations with a demonstration flight from Lagos to Abuja. Justina Etham has details. The Cross River State Government's dream of owning a commercial airline, which was conceived in 2016, may have come to fruition. The State Commissioner for Aviation, while briefing journalists, says the state has commenced operation with a demonstration flight from Lagos to Abuja. I am here today to start the process of the formal launching of our airline in Calabar, which will be in the next three weeks. We are going to gather at Magret Echo Airport and receive the aircraft to Calabar. Clearing the air on rumors surrounding the operation of the airline, the commissioner assures that the aircrafts, which are very safe to board, were procured through intellectual money without borrowing. The time has come where we must begin to think positively. We have started generating revenue. Apart from serving as a source of revenue generation, Mr. Enya says Kali Air is an avenue to create job opportunities for the people as 80% of its staff are indigents of Cross River States. In Calabar, Justina Etam, NTA News. Samuel Johnson is our guide on sports updates. Ahead of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, which begins this weekend, coach of the D Tigers, Mike Brown, has released his final 12-month team list for the games. They are Josh Okoje, 
Vincent Namdi, Ike Wamu, Ekpe Udo, Caleb Agada, and Chimeze Metu. And for D. Tigress, Adora Elonu, Aisha Balarabi, Victoria Macaulay, among others. I like the mix. It's, it's a fine mix of shooting. We have a good complement of players on the inside. The team is headlined by seven NBA players and other guys are coming from different parts of Europe. With four matches to the end of the 2020-2021 Nigeria Professional Football League season, club sides in the league will have another opportunity during the midweek matches to either avoid relegation or finish among the top teams. League leaders Aqua United will face relegation-threatened Wadi Wolves. Jigawa Golden Stars will entertain Rivers United, among other matches. Still on football, the 2021 Under-15 Eco Football Tournament ended Monday evening at the Agege Stadium, Lagos, with Ekorodu Divisional Football Association team emerging champions. The Ekorodu side beat Team Badagri 4-1 on penalties after the match ended goalless in regulation time. We've also just discovered a lot of new talents for our Eco uh, Football team. Um, but beyond that, as I said, you know, we've gotten our young officials. As the first one of the Nigeria Volleyball Premier League ended in Ilori, stakeholders have charged the caretaker committee of the Nigeria Volleyball Federation to, as a matter of urgency, look for sponsorship that would further enhance the development of the game. If there are no sponsorship of league, players will not be well motivated. The Federation to try and get more sponsors and give subsidy to teams. They emphasize that running a league for three years without sponsors, it's not too good for the development of the game. With sports update, Samuel Johnson, NTA News. To end the news, a recap of our major stories. The First Lady of Nigeria, Aisha Muhammad Buhari, has urged all Nigerians, especially mothers, to be more committed in prayers for peace and unity of the nation. The First Lady said this while celebrating Idel Kaber with wives of service chiefs. Muslim faithful in Calabar have joined their counterparts across the globe to celebrate 2020 Idel Kaber by observing the three rakat prayers with symbolic slaughtering of Ram. It was also in the news that concerned Nigerians while celebrating Salah called for unity irrespective of tribe, religion, or political affiliations. That is a package for this evening. Thanks for watching. Good night.